Greetings from the National Weather Service in Blacksburg. I'm Warning Coordination Meteorologist Phil Heisel alongside meteorologist Eric Taylor, and we're going to discuss flooding and winter weather in this short video that will be the last step you need to do to become an official Skywarn spotter with the National Weather Service in Blacksburg. So hopefully you have completed the online training courses found at this website shown here at the meded.ucar site. There are two modules. Once you complete those, watch this video and send me, Phil Heisel, an email at phil.heisel at noaa.gov with copies of your certificate and a note saying you watch this video as well as contact information found at weather.gov slash rnk slash skyward. Now to talk about reporting winter weather events and flooding events, here's Eric Taylor. Yeah, thanks, Bill. Uh, winter weather, of course, one of the most common things this time of year here in our region. Winter weather advisories, well, that's simply for a low-end event, and this is pretty common in what we see on the western-facing slopes of southeast West Virginia, as well as Virginia, and even in the ski country there in North Carolina. Two or three inches of snow in a 12-hour period, less than a quarter of an inch of ice, and it's issued 36 hours in advance. An advisory means simply use precaution uh, and exercise that should not be life-threatening. So if you're out there on the roads, allow some extra time in that commute and, you know, be prepared. Have that winter preparedness kit in the car just in case you may be hung up for a little while on the roads with those advisory conditions. Winter storm watch, well, that's issued when warning conditions are possible and that means that's a kind of a precursor to what could be maybe even a significant event issued 12 to 48 hours in advance and it simply means prepare have a preparation plan just in case you are stuck for a day or two due to winter storm conditions, whether it's snow or ice. And a warning means, well, it's happening. Four or five inches of snow in more than 12 hours, quarter inch of ice or more, issued 36 hours in advance and simply means stay indoors, avoid travel, avoid being on the roads, and stay somewhere safe uh, to be out of those winter weather conditions. Ice storm warning and blizzard warning. Well, an ice storm warning, we never really want to see this around here. We actually had it uh, last year down in the south side of Virginia into the Piedmont of North Carolina. It's in lieu of a winter storm warning, but it's for ice. It's issued for that type of precipitation, at least a quarter of an inch or more of ice in 12 hours. Uh, and there's no such thing as an ice storm watch, but we don't like to see that around here. And another one that we don't like to see, but we can get it every now and then here in southwest Virginia is a blizzard warning. It's sustained or frequent gust greater than or equal to 35 miles per hour and considerable blowing and drifting of snow reducing the visibilities below a quarter of a mile. And here's kind of a look at the criteria and what determines uh, when we issue the watch or the warning or even an advisory in the area. If you're in the yellow zone, well warning snowfall is simply a 12-hour period of five inches or a 24-hour period of six inches. So if you get to those marks, five inches of snow in the yellow zone within 12 hours or six inches of snow in 24 hours in the yellow zone, that's when we want you to send the report and that helps us in the process of kind of verifying where those warnings uh, are issued. And advisories in the green zone, well, 12 hours and four inches and 24 hours of five inches in the green zone. That includes the city of Roanoke as well as Danville, Martinsville. And for advisories, I will issue those in that 12-hour period when we're likely to see two inches of snow there in the green zone. Real-time information, of course, report snowfall when warning criteria is met. Four inches in the Piedmont, five inches in the mountains. Report total snowfall accumulation and the time it occurred. So we like to see your roller picture, but we also like to see a location of where that is at. So if you're going to address that to us, whether it's by email or phone, or even on Facebook or Twitter, uh, if you're sending us that photo, make sure to include the location and the time that you recorded that. And same thing with freezing rain uh, to a quarter of an inch on a flat surface. So that's maybe a tabletop, a picnic tabletop, uh, a card top, uh, anything like that that is flat. We'd like to take that accumulation. So flat ice accumulation. So angle of measurement is everything. Uh, as you can see in the two photos, uh, measure at eye level. So the guy that's on the left, well, he's standing up, and that's going to be a little bit difficult. So if he gets down closer to the ground where the ruler is down at the surface, he'll have a better view of what is uh, there on the ruler for that measurement. And take a couple of measurements around the property just to make sure you have that accurate measurement that you're sending in. Flash flooding. This is also something that we see 
uh, this time of year. When you see six inches or more of water flowing across a road, well, don't drive through it. When roads are closed due to high water uh, and rivers and streams out of their banks and threatening life and property, this is why we say turn around, don't drown. You don't know what is underneath it there as that water flows across, and you also don't know how deep it is. So contact us uh, when you see that in your neighborhood, and then we can definitely make a report of that, uh, and that helps us out a lot, and that helps folks that are maybe even in that area. How to submit your report? Submit a report. Use uh, the web-based form at www.weather.gov slash rnk. Underneath submit a report, you'll see the little green guy on our front page down at the bottom. You click on him and you can submit a report that way. Most important overall and in this area, call us on the phone. It's simple and you can talk to one of us as well when you submit that report, 540-553-8900 or email us at rnk.skywarn at noah.gov. Amateur radio operators, well, the primary repeater up on Poor Mountain, they're at the numbers and the tone below. And Facebook and Twitter at NWS Blacksburg, always important as well to issue the photos and uh, the reports. And we'll send it back over to Phil. Thank you, Eric. And I just want to add in terms of calling us, when you see flash flooding or you see large hail or damaging winds, it's critical we get that information as soon as possible. So please call us when it's safe to do so. Now, snowfall reports, that's not as time sensitive. Uh, we encourage you to use the other formats, such as the online weather reporting form that Eric showed you, email or social media. But definitely for those short fuse events like flooding, severe thunderstorms, tornadoes, definitely call us as soon as possible. So just to review, when do we want you to call us? Obviously, anytime you see a tornado or a funnel cloud, when it's safe to do so, hailstones of any size, flooding when water is covering the road, creeks or streams are out of the banks, anytime you see trees or power lines down, or if you have a personal weather station and you measure a wind gust that is 50 miles an hour or greater, we'd really like to hear about that. And for snow accumulation, again, if you live in the Piedmont areas, let us know when you get four inches of snow and call us back with your snowfall total. If you live in the mountains, call us when you get five inches of snow and call us back with the snowfall accumulation when it ends. Also let us know if there's any injuries or structural damage due to significant weather events. And when you call us, we wanna make it as simple and painless as possible. Just remember the who, what, when, and where. Tell us your name and that you're a Skywarn spotter, what you saw, when you saw it. That is so critical. Give us a time for every report that you share and where you are located. If you're on the road, give us the nearest street intersection. And that concludes the video to make you an official Skywarn spotter with the National Weather Service in Blacksburg. Again, email me, Phil Heisel, at phil.heisel at noah.gov with a copy of your certificates and your contact information. And if you really would like to help the Weather Service more, I encourage you to check out this PDF form that shows you other ways that you can share weather information by being a Cocoa Ross observer or through other means. So on behalf of the National Weather Service in Blacksburg, we appreciate your help very much by being our eyes in the field. Eric, thank you so much for your help with this, this video, and stay safe out there, everyone.